this December. Two songs. One journey And does he return? Introducing The Christmas Specials Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another 10 sales in 10 minutes video So obviously today I've got 10 sales for you in approximately 10 minutes as I normally do um, so yeah, without further ado, we'll get straight on with the video. So here, here you've got a vintage the Beautyo large cloth um, sort of football table mat, um, and essentially this is obviously for a Sabutio set, you know, a larger Sabutio set. Now I actually bought this in a job lot of Sabutio. There was a lot of the actual box sets of eleven players in there, um, and I've cleared profit on that job lot now. I paid thirty or thirty-five pound plus commission at the auction, and yeah, I was really really happy with that job lot because I was kind of taking a bit of a punt on it. I didn't know too much about Sabutio, but I kind of thought there was enough in there to warrant obviously spending £30-35 on it. And certainly I was more than right. There was so much in there. I think I've even still got a few little odds and ends kind of thing to list. Um, but yeah, I've cleared profit on it now. So obviously after postage and fees and all the rest of it, this sale will be profit. Will be all profit. So pretty happy with that. And uh, yeah, definitely going to be looking out for more Sabutio stuff in the future. Next we've got these uh, six fish knives and forks. Really nice, uh, quaint little set, this one. Nice, um, small set, and it looks, it just looks really cute, this set, to be honest. It's really nice, and it's in this, uh, blue box. Now, I've not, I never really see them in these blue boxes. I see them, like, um... It, not that it makes much of a difference, but um, I see them generally in black boxes. That's normally what you'll get them in. But this was uh, interesting, obviously, in a different coloured box there. Um, and as you can see, we've got the mark on there, which I researched, and it was Richard Richardson. Turns out that it's, you know, it's kind of middle-of-the-road maker, particularly, you know, not particularly, like, commanding loads of money, um, but still a half-decent maker, and obviously you can see they are good quality items there, but they're just, it's not not necessarily one of those makers that uh, makes everyone go wow and, and, and it gets crazy money. Um, but still, nice items for what they were. Not necessarily very big, you can see there I've put a measurement by the side, uh, what's that, about 14 centimetres or something, I suppose it's not that bad, uh, fair size obviously. And as you can see there I've got £22.04, I'm guessing that was from a reduction or something, that's why it's a random price, um, and then obviously plus my postage. These came in another job lot that I'm now in profit on, so that's always nice when, when these items, you know, sell. When I'm already in profit on the job, like, so good, because you think, well, after postage and fees, uh, I'm in profit on that, and it, it's just nice to know that, really. So, yeah, nice little set there. Um, I do love picking up, you know, like, uh, these fish knives, and I like picking up, you know, butter knives and all the rest of it. You have got to be careful with certain knives and forks on eBay, as I'm fully aware. Um, but, yeah, I, um, but I, I, you know, I know the ones that you're allowed to sell, I know the ones you're not allowed to sell now. Um, through doing quite a lot of research into that, and um, yeah, essentially, they're pretty cool, you know, they're pretty easy to deal with, they're not too, um, you know, they're, they're just nice things to deal with, in my personal opinion. Um, next, we've got this vintage heavy-duty uh, metal glass casserole, uh, sort of slow cooking pot. These actually do well, I've had these quite a lot. Um, I got these a lot when I was going to a different auction house that did more household uh, items. And generally, you know, it, it really depends on the brand or anything. You know, it can be various prices, but generally just sort of a generic one like this. You know, anywhere between £10-£20, obviously, plus your postage on, um, is a decent price. And obviously, all it is is just, a, you know, kind of a heavy-duty um, slow-cooking pot or whatever. It's nothing It's nothing really out there or special. So, I was quite happy with £13.49 plus postage on that and I've obviously people still use these and enjoy using them so there's definitely a market out there for them you can see it's like 17 18 centimeters there so yeah pretty cool that one uh, next was a hat now I've not sold many hats in a while well I, I had that hat haul and I think I saw one or two but I've not really sold volume of hats for a while or anything like that because there was a time where I was selling quite a few hats um, but yeah it's just a Dun & Co Hatters uh, the Rutland uh, country cap 
funny story on this one actually. It came, I um, sent it out. This was not this sale. It was actually a previous sale of the same item. Uh, so I actually saw this item previously. Uh, they said it didn't fit, so it came back to me. I relisted it, and then it sold to someone else within I don't know three or four days. So I was really happy with that because it sat on my store for absolutely ages and ages and ages. Then obviously someone picked it off, ended up returning it, and then it ended up selling pretty quickly anyway so that was quite good so hopefully it does actually fit for them um it is actually a small hat 56 centimeters which is a small um but it is quite tight even for a small like it could even be like it says 56 centimeters on it but to be honest it seems even smaller than that so um hopefully it did fit for the other people it sold a few days ago, it sold like six days ago now, so they would have received it by now and probably tried it on, so hopefully it's all good. Um, but yeah, 1587 for that one. I can't remember how much I paid, I think I got it from a charity shop for a couple of quid. But I don't know, It was a, as I said, it took a while to sell the first time, um, so I don't know, it was ages and ages ago. But as you can see, there is some good money in hats, especially, you know, Dun & Co, Lock & Co, I always talk about these two brands, and, you know, Christie's and things like that. Um, there is good money in them, but sometimes you do have to wait a little bit on them. Uh, next was one of the Doc 2 figures, obviously you'll know I've been picking up a lot of Doc 2 figures recently. I would have liked to... Um, see this was worth more but actually when i researched it it just wasn't worth that much i thought this would really be like a you know sort of 15 to 20 pound figure but it just doesn't seem to be commanding that you can see it's one of the cybermen from the invasion which is obviously a late 60s patrick troughton story uh it's, they've got uh, the gun there as well which is the accessory and as i've mentioned before it's always good when you can get these with the accessories um but yeah as you can see only commanded 12.99 there i don't think i could have got too much more it did take a couple of weeks to sell so i didn't undersell it or anything but i just wish this would have would be worth a little bit more because i feel like this is more of a 15 to 20 pound figure but unfortunately the market Decides the price and obviously uh, the market doesn't feel like it is worth that much so yeah but as you can see there nice figure it's in good condition uh, you know it's a decent uh, condition figure there and yeah pretty happy with that sale um, so next is this um, this someone actually when I listed this like after I'd listed it someone commented on the video and said they thought it could be a match was it a match uh, box or something they thought it could be? So I didn't actually put that in the title, but that would have been another keyword because it very well could have been a match box, actually, this. as w uh, Or, obviously, as I was thinking, a trinket box. But as you can see, it's just this brass little fly. You will have seen it in the whole video not long ago at all. I said I was going to get 9 95 plus postage for it, and that's what it went for within a matter of days. So I was more than happy with that. I got this in a job lot for uh, basically of £24 worth of stuff. Uh, loads of different other bits in there that you will have seen in the whole video so i'm glad just to be obviously getting some of that money back for that specific job lot so yeah pretty happy with that one nice little sale there just a bread and butter item but something a little bit different because you don't always see these uh you know sort of flies and stuff in in brass you know you see a few different animals in brass small like brass animals but not, not really seen a fly before so that's quite interesting um, next we've got this Antique Victorian Wedgwood Majolica and I did spell Wedgwood right on this occasion I know I used to spell Wedgwood with an E because I, I just didn't have a clue it, there wasn't an E in it I, I had really hadn't a clue so yeah uh, Antique Vi Victorian Wedgwood without an E uh, Majolica green cabbage leaf plate very good price I got on this one. I was more than happy with twenty six ninety nine plus postage. Um, I think other people have got some. Some people have got about twenty quid. Some people have managed to get about twenty five quid. So I was kind of shooting quite high on this. So. Yeah, more than happy with the uh, value I got on this plate. This, again, is another item that I'm completely in profit on, on the job lot. So, uh, yeah, again, after postage and fees, this is just going to be pure profit. So, pretty happy with that one. You can see it's a really nice plate. A little bit of a different variant on the usual Wedgwood cabbage plate you get. Um, and, yeah, you can see there Wedgwood. Oh, it just slightly faded off, but it's Wedgwood. And you can see it's about 20, 21 centimetres there. So, again, I think it's a little bit bigger than the average uh, just the average sort of Majolica Wedgwood uh, cabbage plates as well. So, yeah, pretty happy with that one. Nice sale there. Next, something, you know, very Christmassy kind of thing. 
is obviously a new and sealed puzzle and new and sealed board games. All these things do go at Christmas quite well. Uh, picked this up a while ago at Carboo. I think I paid two quid, one or two pound. It wasn't a lot actually for this. And uh, yeah, you can see I turned that into ten pound plus postage. So more than happy with that one. Always worth, you know, throughout the year at the car boots, at the charity shops, looking out for just things like this that are brand new and sealed. If for a couple of quid, just grab them, whack them on for, you know, 10 to £15 plus postage. They're going to go as we, as we get close to Christmas. Um, they're the perfect items for gifts or maybe even just stocking fillers and stuff like that. Or just add-on presents kind of thing. So, yeah, always be looking out for these throughout the year. Stockpile them if you want or you can just list them at the time you get them for maybe a slightly higher price and then just wait it out um, but generally you know what I do is I just list them and you know I don't necessarily stockpile them and just don't list them I just whack them on straight away and then they usually just take to Christmas to go anyway and then I just uh, obviously uh, get the sale at Christmas so yeah pretty happy with that one always worth looking out for these new and sealed puzzles next we've got this uh, vintage brass it's just like a small I wasn't sure whether this was a milk jug or water jug but it's probably more a milk jug than anything um, and yeah I generally just just, um, I put in these titles like Country Cottage and stuff like that because some people who maybe are living in a cottage, you know, it's maybe quite an old cottage or something, may be typing something like that in to look for it, may have, uh, may have the inkling to type some sort of keyword relating to that in to uh, look for these items. So as you can see there, I just like sort of pack my title with those sort of keywords. And uh, yeah, I just put this on at 9.95 plus postage because it's nothing special, this one. Probably owes me about a quid or something in a job lot, really hardly any, uh, hardly anything really. So yeah, pretty happy with this one, you know, just a bread and butter sale, but still a nice little item there. Nothing amazing, amazing, but it's something that is a nice little bread and butter item at least. So pretty happy with that one. And then finally to finish on, we'll finish on a couple of Doctor Who figures. I could have included about four or five Doctor Who figures in this sales update, but I decided not to because I don't want to litter these sales updates with all Doctor Who stuff. Um, because, I mean, at the moment I am selling the Doctor Who figures quite consistently, which is good. But I don't want, as I say, I don't want to just have a sales update with just Doctor Who figures in. Because the, the variety wouldn't be there and it would be a bit boring. So, uh, yeah, we've got these uh, Doctor Who figures. Just a little bundle of River Song there. She's not got a gun. You can see there's a little gun holster um, on her sort of thigh there or next to her thigh. Um, she's not got a gun there. Um, so it would may, may have been able to command a little bit more with the accessory. And then you've got Matt Smith there with a little bit of play wear, a little bit of something rubbing off. Maybe the paint's rubbing off or something to his hair there. So as you can see, with all these figures, what I do is I just put in used condition and then I put ha may have some light play wear to figures. Or sometimes, in some cases, if I know there's some heavy wear to the figures and I've not been able to get it off, you know, I've not been able to clean them up or get the play wear off or get anything, you know, get the wear off, then I will state uh, more in the description about those issues but generally if you do some sort of line like that to cover yourself and also maybe just put in, in the description please check out the photos just to make sure you you know what you're, you're getting kind of thing it always makes buyers uh, more aware of what they are gonna actually receive uh, now generally it's good a good idea to obviously put something in the condition note because a lot of buyers these days don't even actually scroll down to check the description but if it's right there on the listing on the first page they see in the condition note then we're at least going to maybe pay attention a little bit um, pay a little bit of attention and obviously then uh, you won't get into an issue of a return for uh, something that they've obviously just not uh, just not missed uh, you know just not seen or something like that um, anyway I'll leave it there guys I don't even think we're at 10 minutes so I think I've done that pretty quick or maybe we are at 10 minutes um, but yeah I'll leave it there if you have any uh, sort of queries, questions, anything like that, then please drop them down below. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. I do weekly sales updates on uh, what I sold on eBay. I do uh, haul videos when I can as well. I do a live show on Thursday called Thursday Talks where we just tra chat random stuff, sometimes reselling, sometimes random stuff about the universe and the world, and sometimes just weird crazy stuff so if that's sort of your thing then obviously check that out too and uh, without uh, with that being said i will leave it there guys and i will see you in the next one so i'll see you very soon guys